Welcome to the mouse mistake video. In this video a question is going to be done and there's going to be at least one mistake in it. You've got to spot that mistake and correct it. In this question we've been asked to calculate angle X and angle Y. So, first thing I notice is that we've got two parallel lines here and here. That means you may have alternate and corresponding angles. I notice that these two are alternate. These two would be the same here and here. You've got your typical Z shape for your alternate angles. Also, I notice that here, here, and here, this would be your typical F shape. So this angle and this angle are corresponding. In other words, X and 60 are the same. So X is equal to 60 degrees. Okay, now, we need to work out angle Y here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work out this angle. I'm gonna work out this angle by looking at this triangle. Then I'm going to know what this angle is because these two are in a straight line. Once I know this angle, then I can look at this triangle and then work out what Y is. So, let's first of all look at this triangle here. This angle, this angle, and this angle will add to 180. So adding these two together, 20 and 45, 20 plus 45 is equal to 65. Whenever you take 65 away from 180 degrees, you get 180, take away 65, is equal to 105 degrees. That means that this angle will be 105 degrees. Next, 105 and this angle make a straight line. So that means that if I take the 105 away from 180, I get 75. So that means that this angle is 75 here. Next, my 60 degrees, my 75 degrees and Y are all in this triangle. That means if I add the 60 and the 75 degrees together and take it away from 180, I get the angle Y. So let's do that. So 60 plus 75 is equal to 5, uh, 135. And then 180 subtract 135 would leave you with 45 degrees. That means that angle Y is 45 degrees. The question is, have I made a mistake? And if so, can you spot it and correct it?